Hi guys, welcome to Honest Straightforward Reviews, where you get unbiased and unfunded reviews. Today, we'll be looking at Apple's newest and biggest change in the 27-inch iMac that just got released a week or two ago. And that is, of course, the nano texture glass that has been introduced to the iMac. Previously, this technology was only available on the Pro Display XDR. Let me first of all explain what this fancy name means. All it is, is a Mac screen that is supposed to reduce reflections. That cost a whopping 750 Australian dollars to add on. The Pro Display XDR is a 32 inch Retina 6K display with 1600 nits of brightness and an astonishing 1 million to 1 contrast ratio. On the Pro Display XDR, the nano texture glass costs an extra 1500 Australian dollars, bringing the total to just under $10,000, which is double what it costs to have that same upgrade on the iMac. Why does Apple charge so much? In short, they always have and they can. The long version of it is because before Apple, most matte displays had a coating to the glass which scattered the light, resulting in unwanted haze and sparkle which lowered its contrast. What Apple has done is they have edged that into the glass itself, which maintains the high image quality and contrast whilst having very low reflection. I used both the iMac with the nano texture glass and the Pro Display XDR and I can very confidently say that the matte option that you get on the Pro Display XDR is far superior. Let's have a look at the iMac in gloss and matte screens. Hi guys, welcome to a video where I'll be comparing the nano texture glass on the brand new 2020 iMac and the iMac 2020 without that. So you'll have three scre screens in front of you, one in the middle, one at the left side and one an LG towards the right bottom, which you really can't see, which I don't want you guys to focus on. Now the middle one, the iMac, there's two iMacs, the one on the right or the middle, that iMac is the nano texture glassed iMac from 2020 and on the left is the exact same thing, not with the same specs but a 2020 iMac without that finish, it's just got a gloss. In Australia it costs $750 just to get that nano texture glass itched in. Now, I'll be just looking at, I'll be recording this at 60 frames per second, like all videos at 4K, so you can have a really good look at it at a, at a big screen, the differences. I've got light coming in from the left hand side, hence the monitors I've placed in like that. I don't think you can see much in the video. However, if you look at the left bottom side, you can see some red, red and some reflection on there uh, and you can see me moving as well if you see that that's my hands on the screen on the left side so yes there is quite a bit of reflection on there uh, when i'm looking at it and however it is a tiny bit brighter as well i feel like it uh, when you're looking at it uh, bang on i feel like the nano texture glass takes out the, that glare completely. Now, let's open up a few websites and have a look at that.
Okay, just loading in Google in both of them. Okay, now you might see a bit of a yellowish tint to the 2020 iMac. Uh, the only reason, uh, the nano texture glass, the only reason is it's got uh, True Tone activated on that. I don't have True Tone activated on the other one. So let me turn that off on this one as well. Okay, I think it opens up on the extended screen that I've got. Let's find where True Tone is. Okay, all right, now, that should give us a bit of a better view of both. Let me put this in the other screen again. Okay, so now, let's go, go back to Safari and open that up on Google. Right, so you can still see a bit of a yellowish kind of tint uh, to the um, nano texture glassed iMac compared to the other one. Uh, the other one, I feel like just when you're looking up closer at it, it feels a lot wider and brighter. Even both of them having True Tone off. I don't like True Tone, to be honest. Hmm. And I don't think you can see any of the reflections anymore on white when you've got screen on. Okay, so let me go open some apps now. app that I do a lot of work with is Logic and Final Cut. So I'm going to give both of them an open. Just so you guys can see the difference. Okay. All right. So that will be exactly what work will look like and if you can see you can clearly see me in the one without the gloss finish and on the gloss one i disap i mean on the nano texture one i disappear so there you go so yes reflections are completely taken out the glare isn't there but to be honest, I haven't really noticed much of a difference between them. Okay, now I'll, I'll change the camera angle a little bit so you guys can look at my other monitor that I use. Now, this is an LG 27. GL850B, okay, and it is a 2K. So first of all, iMac is a 5K, 60 hertz uh, display, which is, the colors are absolutely awesome on iMacs, okay? Now my uh, LG is a 2K, which is all I needed, uh, but I need a higher refresh rate of 144 hertz, so it's easier on the eyes. It's got the same sort of texture, with, uh, which the iMac's got. So let's have a look at these. All right, 
Now, let's have a bit of a play around. I'm going to turn them both off, so in a dark situation. Uh, let's look at that, and also I'll close the blinds as well and see if we can spot any differences. Okay, so now this is the room darkened. So to give a bit of a feeling of how it looks in the night. So let's see if you can see any reflections now. Obviously, because there's no light, <clears throat> there's no reflection. Okay, so I've just turned on the light that I use in my room. And yeah, so if you work in a very bright room and with lights and things like that, yes, you will notice that there's quite a bit of uh, reflection. But other than that, like the 750 price feels a bit steep. Okay, now for the next part of the video, I'll turn on some light. Let's see. So, you can see the reflection quite clearly, as you can see, and yeah, so you can see it on both, so I'll do it at an angle. To me, it feels like it's a bit brighter and sharper with the glossy one, whereas with the matte finish of the texture, it's a bit better. All right, let's turn both of them off and see what it does to the reflection. So we're back in the well-lit room with both the IMAX turned off. This is just to exhibit an environment where you're probably watching a really dark movie on it or editing some video that is very dark. So in that kind of environment, it does excel quite a bit. So as you can see, you can clearly see me in the reflection on the normal non-nano texture glass, whereas I disappear, kind of, on the other one. You can still see me a little bit. So there you go, guys. Um, that's basically what I have to say so far. And yes, let me know in the comments what you guys would like to see a bit more of. Verdict. The nano texture glass is highly effective in delivering a natural look to images, which make it much better for printmakers than regular glass, which is shiny. If you just want to view images for the pleasure of it, you would not be able to find a better display than the one with the nano texture glass in the iMac. However, when I compared the iMac display, other similar displays, I found that there was a slight tint when it was side to side. Grayscale uniformity is another area where the iMac nano texture glass is quite awful. There is a bit of color shift between the middle and sides of the panel. While creating a full screen window with just a white background on an iMac and positioning my eyes near the end of the display, I saw that at some parts it was blue and in other parts it was white. I saw this problem even when I had a look head on where the corners of the display were darkened and had a bluish tint. With the XDR and iMac display, there is no way to calibrate your display. While, for example, with the NEC PA302W, I can calibrate and profile the display to my exact specification of contrast, brightness, and gamut. Apple most likely would argue that the steep price that they are charging for the nano texture glass is aimed towards professionals only. However, I would argue that there are much better and a lot cheaper displays out there that do a lot better job that are aimed at professional use.
My verdict is that it's a nicety to have to your iMac, especially if you're working in a bright room but the asking price of 750 just negates the benefits of having that. I would rather spend the money on a monitor that does a much better job of it. And if you're not a professional, then I would angle the iMac in a way that the reflections would not bother me or use something that is called a blind and close it. Okay guys, thank you for watching it. I hope you guys enjoyed my review of the Nano Texture Glass and what my thoughts are on it. Please let me know in the comments what you think. Thank you.